Hi, my name is Alexandra Harris. I'm a doctoral student at Western University. I'm studying accumulated head impact exposures in youth soccer players and the relationship between uh, changes in brain function. Our understanding of concussion comes a lot from football, but the nature with head impacts in soccer are different primarily because players aren't wearing helmets in soccer. And this is the purpose of our study, to understand those differences. What causes head injury when a player isn't wearing a helmet and is exposed to a ball directly or a player-to-player -player contact directly or a player-to-ground? Um, that's what we're looking for and trying to understand. So it just slides in. So what you're going to be wearing today is just a headband with a sensor in it. When the sensor is turned on, it links to a sideline viewer that we have during the game. So we can tell in real time uh, the, f the amount of force that player is exposed to with that head impact, whether it's the ball, whether it's a player, whether it's the ground. Um, we have to use video analysis to be able to to be able to characterize that head impact, um, but it also gives us a location um, for where it occurred, so whether it was on the top of the head or on the forehead at the side of the head. Youth players in general are at a higher risk for uh, head injury in sport. Um, this is because one, their brains are still maturing, uh, but also they have reduced neck musculature. Females are actually at a higher risk compared to males for head injury. So we decided for this study to look at female athletes in this age group. So I'm hoping results from this study will help reduce the incidence of head injury in soccer. Um, I believe that we're finally taking a proactive approach to uh, staying, for trying to stay ahead of concussion in sports like soccer.